Hey, welcome to Electro Online, and here's our second set of trigonomet trigonometric functions. That's hard to say, trigonometric functions that we'll want to evaluate. So to make it a little bit more clear, I drew four separate unit circles, and we'll attack each one separately. So here we have the cosecant of 5 pi over 3. First, we want to familiarize, uh, we want to change that to a more familiar trigonometric function, which is 1 over the sine. So the cosecant is the same as 1 over the sine, so we can write this as 1 over the sine of 5 pi over 3. Now what is 5 pi over 3? Well, 5 pi over 3 would be pi plus 2 thirds pi, wouldn't it? So this is equal to 1 over the sine of pi plus 2 thirds pi. And of course 2 thirds pi would be 120 degrees added to 300 degrees uh, to 180 that gives us 300. So it looks like uh, that would be 180 plus another 120 will bring us right over here like that. So this would be an angle of uh, 5 pi over 3, which is equal to 300 degrees, which gives us the counter angle right here of 60 degrees. To add up to a total of 360. So you can write it like that. All right. Which means we're looking for the y value or the sine value of that. So we're looking for this right here. Notice that if this is 60 degrees, we're looking, that means that this here, let's call that phi, that is 60 degrees. Uh, the sine of 60 degrees would be the square root of 3 over 2, so we can write this as 1 over the square root of 3 over 2. And then if we take the inverse of that, that is equal to, and I'm kind of running out of room here, let me put a line here, that's equal to 2 divided by the square root of 3. So there we go, that's how we evaluate the cosecant of 5 pi over 3. We first write it as the sine of 5 pi over 3 realizing that 5 pi over 3 is the same as pi plus 2 thirds pi. Of course, pi would be 180 degrees, 2 thirds pi would be 120 degrees, that's for a total of 300 degrees. We then find the counter angle right here, which is 60 degrees. Notice we're just trying to find the y value here. Ooh, one more thing. The y value here is the negative, isn't it? So I forgot my negative in here, so I need to draw a negative here. That is a... Um, negative value right here, so that's the ultimate value. It's negative because it's below the x-axis. So this would be the negative square root of 3 over 2 because that's the sine of uh, 60 degrees. It's the square root of 3 over 2 because, because it's in the fourth quadrant right here. It's a negative value. And then we take the inverse because it's 1 over the sine. That gives us minus, minus, two times, minus 2 divided by the square root of 3. All right, looking for our next example right here. We have the secant of minus pi over 3. Again, we change that to a more familiar function. That's 1 over the cosine of minus pi over 3. And since that is, of course, an even function, we can write this as 1 over the cosine of the positive angle, pi over 3. Now, pi over 3, that looks like it's 60 degrees. It gets one third of a pi. That brings us to about here. So this angle right here would be pi over 3, which is equal to 60 degrees. So we're looking for the x value. We're looking for this value right here. And we know that the cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. So this is equal to 1 over the cosine of 60 degrees, which is equal to 1 over 1 half. And of course, the inverse of that would be equal to 2. And so that would be the final value. The secant of minus pi over 3 is equal to 2. All right, our third example asks for the tangent of 3 over 2 pi. Well, first of all, 3 halves pi well, pi is this way, 3 halves pi, that gets, gets us all the way around to this position right there. Okay, so that would be uh, 3 pi over 2, which is equal to 270 degrees. So now we convert the tangent to the more familiar functions. This can be written as the sine of 3 pi over 2 divided by the cosine of 3 pi over 2. Now notice that the sine of an angle of 270 degrees is equal to the, the radius of the unit circle, so this is equal to 1, and the cosine is equal to 0, and now 1 divided by 0 would be undefined or infinity, and so therefore that would be our answer. It's undefined or infinity. Finally, the cotangent of minus pi over 4, that can be written as the cosine of minus pi over 4, divided by the sine of minus pi over 4. Now remember, pi over 4 is 45 degrees. That gives us this angle right here. So this angle here would be 
pi over 4, which is equal to 45 degrees. And so it would be relatively easy to find both the sine, which is this value right here, and the cosine, which is this distance right here. Notice that at 45 degree angles, the sine and the cosine are both the square root of 2 over 2. But we still have the negative signs in there. Remember that the cosine is an even function, so this can be written as the cosine of pi over 4. But the sine is an odd function, this is minus the sine of pi over 4, or 45 degrees. So the cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. The, the sine of 45 degrees is also the square root of 2 over 2, but we still have the negative sign right there. So it looks like that will become negative 1. So negative 1 is the financial, final answer on that one. So here's some nice examples of how to work with the tangent, the cotangent, the cosecant, and the secant. Usually you convert it to the sine and the cosine, then you find the, the values of those functions, and then you do the uh, inverse or simply the division, and you get the final answer. That's how we do that.